بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو ول بی فائن آئی ایم یور کمپیوٹر ٹیچر شہباز علی ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس کمپیوٹر چیپٹر نمبر 4 ڈیٹا اینڈ پرائیویسی دیٹ از ایتھیکل ایشوز ریلیٹڈ ٹو سیکیورٹی ان پریویس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس کانفیڈینشیلٹی اینڈ پرائیویسی ٹوڈے आवर ٹاپک از فراڈ اینڈ مس یوز لیٹس سٹارٹ وائی کمپیوٹرز اوور انٹرنیٹ سم ایلیگل ایکٹیویٹیز ٹیک پلیس These activities include theft of money by electronic means, theft of services, and theft of valuable data. Sometimes, we receive a mail to click on the link, change your password. When we click on the link, a web page opens that demands to give your username and password. When we give our username and password, so basically our ID is stolen by hacker. Similarly, some emails or mobile phone messages try to fool us. We receive a message that you have won a grand prize. For example, a car, a house, or maybe a, a big amount. They demand us to pay a small amount to transfer fee to get the prize. Actually, these are the techniques to fool people and get money from them some malicious user represent himself as your friend and try to get your confidential information in computer field this term is called phishing patent so basically patent is a certified idea i will to give you example for example you make a machine with the help of this machine you build a factory and earn a lot of profit from the factory some another person purchase a machine that you develop from the market and also build a factory this person is also getting a lot of profit so is tarike se wo person aapko karobar mein nuksan pahuncha sakta hai so better solution is that patent your idea whenever another person use this machine he need to get permission from the developer of the machine so it is a benefit of a patent copyright law copyright law is different from a patent as copyright law says some ideas or product cannot be copied you can see if the product is the protected by copyright law a copyright symbol on the product this as you can see on your computer screen this is a symbol of copyright law for example you are reading a book that is protected by copyright law so you cannot make a photocopy it is illegal so the author of the book can take action similarly most of the software in the market are protected by copyright law it means it's simple the software cannot be copied like ms window ms office so if we make a multiple copies the developer of the software can take action next trade secrets or trademark trade secrets are usually the secrets that are playing an important role for the success of our company for example we have a multiple software for the same purpose the multiple software are available for searching on the internet you can use any one of them these are opera chrome firefox internet explorers their names are different and they have some advantages over each other and you can see a tm or r mark on the software tm mean trademark or r mean register next is sabotage sabotage is a serious attack on computer system some malicious users can attack the system while sitting remotely for example you need a software and you download it from the internet while downloading some virus files are attached with the software when you install this software the virus file is also running in your computers and it can destroy or change your personal information or sabotage a previous data safeguarding privacy of the other we have noticed when we go in the bazaar the board on the road about camera are watching you the basic purpose of such notice is alarm you about your privacy and keep you within certain rules and regulation similarly speed cameras are announced before taking your photo or recording your video the basic purpose of all these things to keep safeguard your privacy for example in the nadra office the nadra stands for national 
database and registration authority you give all your personal information your age your name your and your address to the nadra office so it is the ethical responsibility of the nadra to keep secure your data the general information cctv stand for closed circuit television similarly most of the websites are declared their privacy policies whenever when we download any software from the internet or any application from the play store they have some policies but we ignored it and allow the software to access our personal information our mobile phones our data and our camera so we need to installing any software we have we should read all the policies actually the website want to inform you that how far they will go to safeguard your privacy and that's basically us policies ki madad se aapko bataya ja raha hai ki ye application kis kis tarike se aapke mobile phone tak ya aapke computer tak access hasil kar sakti hai i hope ki aapko aaj ka lecture samajh aaya hoga if you have any questions any query about today lecture you can ask me in the comment section so take care allah hafiz